Is it possible for a person to not go to church and successfully serve God? Yes, it is. But is it possible for the majority? Some people believe that they can stay home and read their Bible and pray and do all of these great things that they don't do. <laughs> they say that they do it or they say that they will do it, but they may do it for a week or so. Then after that, no more. <laughs> Some people can do it. And if you are able to do it, hey, good job. But many people are not there yet. If you are having trouble with sinning, you need to go to church. All churches are not bad. When I was in great sin, just sinning and having sex before marriage and cursing and all of that other stuff, I was going to church once or twice a week. On top of that, I would listen to teachings on the internet about God because I wanted to change. <laughs> then it got to the point where I'm like, well, at the church that I was going to, perhaps I don't need to go as much now because I am at the point now, I am not saying that I know more than everyone or anything like that, no. I got to the point where I caught control of myself where I don't have to sin every day and I started to do my own research. Now, should I still go to church? Of course. But, look, if you are the type that is constantly sinning and you want to change, obviously you need extra help. Obviously, you need your hand held, which there is nothing wrong with that in order to serve God properly because I needed my hand held as well. And in some areas, I still need help in understanding deeper things of God. Of course, I can tell you some of the basic things of God, but there are deeper things of God that many of us don't know. Like, I am learning about certain things now, which blows my mind. I never knew that that type of stuff actually goes on. It is pretty wild. Like, you would think that I would know <laughs> many things by now, but like the higher you elevate in God, the more you see that you really don't know much at all. <laughs> My Lord, man. My Lord. But many of you all, especially the people that I contact, you need to go to church. Because you can say that you are going to read your Bible and you are going to pray, but you are not going to be consistent in it. So you need that extra push, which I need, need it. And I still need encouragement and pushing as well. No matter how far you get in God, you still need encouragement. You still need a pushing. Even more so when you are not able to stay out of sin when you are persistently sinning each day and you continue to do the same things over and over and over again. That is an issue. So go to church. 
if a church is talking that crazy stuff, you know, only about God is going to bless you, money, 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 and not speaking about righteousness and living holy and stuff like that, you need to leave, man. You need to leave that church. Because ultimately, that place is only telling you just a tiny part of God. Just one little small part. My Lord. So I pray that this makes sense. Go to church. I don't know where the hatred comes from church. It's kind of like saying, people say that churches are bad. Not all churches. So all are all Christians good? Well, let me not say that because... <laughs> People who call themselves Christian, if you are sinning as much as a sinner, you are not a Christian. You are not there yet. Because a Christian is a follower of God. I believe many people look down upon churches because the bad churches are advertised in front of many. But the good churches are not really advertised as much as these huge, bad churches. So people may believe that the church is a bad place to go to. No. You don't have to go to a huge church, these mega churches. You can go to a small church. The church that I go to, man, like... 20 people or less. <laughs> you don't have to go to a large church. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.